Good morning guys. So I actually put on makeup for the first time and I don't even know how long and it feels great. The only thing I don't like is the end of the day when I camera died. Clearly didn't want to hear what I had to say. I was saying that um, sometimes I'll take my makeup off during the afternoon so I don't have to deal with it at night because I'm just so tired. I just want to go to bed. But um, I obviously skipped eyeshadow and lips. They're very glossy because I have nipple cream on. It's the only thing that helps. I put it on last night because I don't know what's going on. No matter how much water I drink or how much chapstick I put on, my lips are like in pain. They're like peeling and I can't even smile like this I would not be able to do it's it's great um so this is my second time wearing this lanolin highly recommend I have a really bad issue of licking my lips every time I eat because I don't like my mouth dirty and I think that's what's doing it I'm not sure um I didn't do my hair because a couple weeks ago I actually straightened it and I was gonna curl it and it was a mess there was hair everywhere my postpartum hair loss well actually I'm having some regrowth like I was feeling I'm like oh my gosh this feels like David's hair you know like the really short hair and it's actually growing so I'm really excited about that but um, I try to keep it in a ponytail to kind of contain it because every hair that Lily finds she'll like pick it up and she'll like hair or she'll call me in the, her room hair because she she doesn't like it she wants me to clean it for her I don't blame her and um, so today like I'm just like so excited to talk to you guys I'm just like throwing a bunch of stuff at you guys I know that's kind of crazy but it feels good to vlog again I really missed you guys and I'm excited so uh, today I put Lily in her dress that she met Markham in it's the first time in five months that she since she's worn the dress uh, it's actually gonna be 80 degrees so that's why she's in a dress it's been really cold here but um so I was washing my hands because I just got Lily dressed and she was like look mom and so I look and she gave Markham her little bunny so that's like her favorite bunny it's like a really big deal because that's her bunny and I thought it was the sweetest thing I ran to get my phone and took a picture I'll insert some pictures here it was just so sweet because you know of all days I put her in this very special dress and I don't know she just shared her toy with him like I don't know it just ugh, pulls on my heartstrings so anyways uh, that's about it I'm not gonna talk your ear off I'll wait until David's is high we are currently doing something we want to talk to you guys about maybe I'll let David speak <laughs> yeah you haven't seen my face at all um, we're actually organizing and cleaning up things and starting a bag and get boxes because we're gonna be moving out of this apartment it's only been a year but yeah, well, we're family expanded. We're in two bedrooms. We need to have a three-bedroom place. So we wanted to get Mark from his own room. So we're moving to a new place in less, almost less than a month now. Yeah, which is really exciting. We're really running out of space, and I'm trying to get rid of a lot of things, like donate them and everything, because there's no reason for me to hold on to certain things. And I'm going through my clothes right now because I'm selling them on Poshmark or listing them. Hi. And <laughs> Lily says hi. I'm actually only giving them a few days because I don't want to hold on to things because, like he said, we have less than a month to move. Did you say that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mom brain. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to keep them on very long because I'm just going to donate and get rid of things because I've been holding on to these things for years. I mean, I have things from when I was my smallest, so size 2, size 4, size 6, and it's like I can't fit that right now, so it's going to get rid of them. So that's what we're currently doing. I got a little pile right there. Lily's playing with the hanger. Hi. <laughs> She's a tie. This is a bunny. Is Bunny for sale? Yeah. Bunny for sale. Oh no, she's not. <laughs> we know what happened when Bunny wasn't around. <laughs> but on that note, I'm going to tell you guys a little something that happened to me today. Uh, Jenna's going to be continuing to do her work that she's doing, but. Um, I, my job that I work at is to do like restaurant cooking and I, I like manage that but I also run the bar when we don't have a bartender. So when I was at the bar yesterday I had this one guest come up to me and he started speaking Spanish to me and I don't speak Spanish I speak English only and I'm like part uh, Hispanic and I'm also part white so I have a mixture of me but I never ever learn Spanish and I don't know it. And I told the gentleman I don't speak Spanish, I speak English. And he's 
uh, not he's not Hispanic either, so I don't. I guess he assumed that I was Hispanic. Um, so he started talking to me and that, I told him I don't speak that, and he goes, "Are you sure?" And I go, "Yes, I speak English. That's my only language I speak." And it was getting to the point where he just kept doing that to me, and he was like enjoying it. And I was like, "Okay, I'm at the point where I says I'm. I can't serve you anymore. I refuse to serve do service with you anymore because I don't appreciate the way you're talking to me." Because he started speaking Spanish to me really slow, and he goes, "Do you understand me?" And I couldn't take it anymore. At that point, I just that's why I said I cut him off. But I just I don't get people. I don't know why. People have to be this way and so rude. I mean, working in the hospitality industry, you get so many different people. And it's like they treat you like you don't care, like you don't have feelings. And I told Jenna, and I can see Jenna's emotions that she was really like upset. And if Jenna was there, she'd probably knock him out. <laughs> but I just uh, want to let you guys know it's just things like this. I just don't understand. I don't know why people feel like it's something that's good for them to do and put people down. And I just don't, I don't like it and I don't stand for that. So before I close out this video, um, I just wanted to share something with you guys. Um, I just put Mark into uh, sleep, so I'm talking a little bit low. And we're about to eat dinner. But um, I've had to go dairy free. So um, I'm cutting out dairy and stuff because it kind of upsets Markham's tummy. So I've been craving ice cream like crazy. So I found this ice cream. So far I've had chocolate, strawberry, and coffee. I'm, I'm working on coffee. I still have the strawberry one on here. <laughs> um, it's empty, but I didn't throw it away. That's kind of bad, isn't it? But anyways, um, so here it is. It's called Oatly. It's made out of oat milk. Guys, oat milk is my new thing. And um, I heard there was an oat milk that you can buy from this brand actually and it tastes like oatmeal cookie and I'm really excited and it's so weird because the first night that I had this I had the chocolate one um, when I got up to feed Markham I was full so I don't know if it's uh, helping my milk supply I'm not claiming it to I still got to do some research some scientific uh, experiments I gotta eat more of it and see but I definitely recommend if you're vegan or you know dairy free or anything um, definitely recommend it's called Oatly you guys just saw it's so good I'm on my third one and David and I on his days off we normally like to you know relax and watch something and uh, have ice cream he's on his second and I'm on my third it's kind of bad so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end out the video David is washing the tub we just gave Mark in the bath. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you are new here, we would love to have you stick around. We're very excited to move into a bigger place and the kids are gonna have their own room. Markham's gonna stay with us for a while like Lily did, but he's gonna have his own room for his stuff. You know, we have his um, little mats that he can do tummy time on. I have them in a in a like clean garbage bag so I could store it there's like literally nowhere to store anything so I'm looking forward to some more space and that'll be an exciting journey and yeah I really uh miss talking to you guys so it's it's nice to be vlogging again so anyways I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one bye